Welcome back, everybody. We have breaking news coming to us out of California. They've had an active shooter where they have at least 20 victims. If some of those people in that community center had had what I've got in my back pocket right now, then we could end those Muslims before they go off to and kill them. Donald Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims. So I was seeing the crisis, and when trusted leaders spew misinformation, our democracy is in crisis. I want surveillance. If Muslims don't have religious liberty to practice their faith in purity and in peace, then neither do Christians. It came to a head when a student of mine approached me about wearing the hijab on the airplane home. Muslim women are the only religionists who wear their religion on their head. It crystallized in my head, I would like to do this as an act of Advent devotion. I didn't think of it as dangerous. People call me naive. I had no inkling that Christians would target me. Within the first 24 to 48 hours, there was an eruption of emotive responses that threatened her person, her safety, her sanity, vile things. People heard that as saying there's no differentiation between the way that the Bible describes God and the way that Islam describes God. She went on Facebook and represented the student body and the staff and said that this is what we believe, that's wrong, and I think there should be consequences. If I lose a job, if I lose friends, that is the cost. 